I am slightly scared it's a bit dangerous. Oh, that is actually disgusting. I struggle in these kind of conditions. Come on! Welcome back to another video, you lot. In this video, I'm gonna show you what I believe to be the best setup that I can possibly get for my TT bike, at least right now anyway. Now, if you've watched my velodrome aero testing video, you will know that I've struggled a little bit with my nutrition and my hydration setup and the best kind of option to get the most amount of hydration, the most convenient, but also the fastest option as well. If you haven't seen that video, please do check it out in the cards above because it was super, super interesting to talk to the guys at Watchshop and just get, get real geeky about aerodynamics. And well, here is my final solution. As you can tell, I've gone for a BTA bottle mount. This is from Sync Ergonomics. They make the poles as well. The whole extension plate that I've had specifically made for the Argon. So this is a complete bespoke made thing. Um, and this is also completely bespoke as well. As you can see, it's all, well, it's two pieces and they screw together here and it allows you to have a BTA mount right there, which is super, super cool. I think it looks fantastic. They're a lot higher sided than my last cups, so they should secure me in really, really nicely. I did have a few other options. One of the options was to just zip tie a bottle mount, which I did do for the last few races because I haven't had this piece here. It just seems slightly criminal to put zip ties on a bike this nice and and this expensive and just this top of the range. I'd, I'd feel like putting zip ties on it is just, it's a sin and it shouldn't be allowed. Even though it did kind of work quite well, it just wasn't a refined and, and clever way of doing things. Option two was to use a bladder down the chest. Now, for those of you that don't know, a lot of people in long course triathlon seem to be using these camelback sort of bladders down the chest, whether it's one or two liters, you have the straw poking up and it means that you don't have to get out of position at all and also you're filling in that chest area which for some people is more aerodynamic. We did test it in the velodrome, turns out I didn't have an aero disadvantage but there was also no aero advantage. The reason why I've chosen to not go for that is purely because I have seen more and more now people going for this option and then struggling in T1 to get the bladder down their chest because their chest is wet, it becomes almost slightly sticky and look, for long course triathlon, maybe you can waste 30 to 60 seconds in T1, but let me tell you, in 70.3 pro racing, there is no chance I'm gonna chuck away between 30 and 60 seconds because I will just get spat from the group. So that is not a good idea at all. So that is why third option is this thing, a BTA mount. I am slightly scared it's a bit dangerous. I'm gonna put the camera down and try and explain this a little bit more by showing you. Now, here is the problem. It looks fantastic, but because I've gone fairly narrow, it means that the gap between the bottle cage and the edge of the cups is actually quite thin. Um, and clearly I've got quite fat forearms. <laughs> I don't think I do. I just think the gap here isn't that big. So I'm just gonna demonstrate the amount of space that I've got here. Can you hear that? Like. That's, and that's why I'm slightly scared it's a bit dangerous. So for a race where you're locked into position for a long period of time, let's say for example, the challenge champs at San Marin, wouldn't be a problem at all because you just stay in position. However, for something perhaps in the UK, let's say the next race, 70.3 Swansea, <laughs> it may not be great because I'm gonna be in and out of position probably quite a lot changing direction, dodging all the Welsh potholes, dodging all the Welsh sheep, dodging all the Welsh farmers. Y you get my point, there's a lot of dodging. <laughs> so, I'm slightly scared by this. Um, what do people think in the comment section below? I think I'll just get used to it. I have got a few weeks, but it is just, oh, that's quite sketchy. What we're gonna do now is head out to Castlecombe for a brick session. Really looking forward to that. 
And the reason why I want to go to Castle Coombe is A, because it's just good fun, but B, I feel like that's a slight stepping stone between the turbo and the open road. There's no traffic at Castle Coombe, completely smooth surface. It should be quite convenient a place to kind of test this new setup. So we should probably go because I'm going to be late. <laughs> Um, it's a little bit windy, so it could, uh, could be interesting on the new setup, we'll see. Could test it quite nicely. Uh, we got a hour on the bike, do a bit of a warm up, maybe 20, 30 minutes, and then we've got two 15 minutes as four minutes at sweet spot, one minute at 110% FTP, and obviously do that three times to make the 15 minutes, then a short three minute spin and do that again. So numbers wise, that'll be uh, four minutes at 320, 325, and then one minute at 385. And obviously, like I said, do that three times, make the 15 minutes, three minute spin, twice three, and then we'll hop off and do the run. Fifteen minutes down. That one was actually quite tough. So here we go again. Um, yeah, the cups are taking a while to get used to. They're definitely quite tight, quite secure, which could be seen as a good thing. But also, yeah, gonna need to get used to. That's for sure. Let's crack on with this next one. Disgusting. To get a new helmet, that is pretty much rotten. Ew. Runoff is 3k, 325, 330s, uh, 90 seconds rest, and then 2k, 325, 330s, 90 seconds rest, and then okay, 325, 330. So not too bad, like 6k of effort. Um, and then probably a 2k cooldown, 8k in total. And then it'll be time for dinner. session done that actually hurt quite a lot but all of them were sub 330 apart from one but there were a few little punchy climb sections uh, yeah all around 325 which is pretty happy with uh, it's sort of the pace that I need to be running at um, if not a bit quicker to be honest in race day but we'll worry about that when we get there um, it's so hot like, well it's not even that hot it's just really humid and struggle in these kind of conditions but yeah really really happy to get that done nice high intensity day because i had a vo2 swim set this morning where i felt like absolute garbage but sometimes you have days like that it makes you appreciate the days when you feel good um but yeah lovely evening cannot complain at all got the training done tonight and now it's the best time of the day because we're going home and we're gonna get some food. So before I hop in the shower, I thought I'd talk a little bit more about the setup, how I found it. Did I find it dangerous? Did I find it sketchy? Will I throw it in the bin? Um, actually, I thought it was pretty good. There were a couple of times where it just, it does just feel tight. And I guess that's just something you need to get used to. My arms feel a little bit closer together. It's just, there's, there's a bit more going on essentially. And so, I guess it is something I just need to get used to. Um, is that bottle in a good place? I think 
for convenience, yes. I think for ultimate aerodynamics and ultimate speed, probably not. Um, the, the issue is, like I said, there's not many other options. I don't really want to use the bladder. And like I said, I don't really want to use zip ties, even though I keep thinking maybe that is something I need to do because it did work really well having the bottle just kind of slotted in there. Um, and a load of other pros, they've got systems that have a bottle slotted back here, which looks a lot better. People like uh, Leon Chevalier, uh, Joe Skipper, um, other people like that. With this setup, you can't have that. I may test it with the bottle cage the other way round. However, the issue is with that, it's more likely that the bottle is going to come out. If the bottle's facing up at that angle, it's less likely it's going to come out. So I may test with that, but... At some points when I was riding, it felt good to have a reference for my face. And I was like, oh, I, my nose isn't actually touching the bottle. I need to get need to get my head down. Um, other times it felt like I was just like chewing on the bottle. It was like the bottle was like there and I was like, come on. <laughs> I was like trying to just force my face through the bottle to almost try and get my head a little bit lower. So I feel like in some cases I could get my head lower. Uh, and ultimately, if you can get your head lower, it's going to be more aerodynamic. So how much of a disadvantage this gives me, I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, with the bladder, you have the disadvantage of having to get it in. Um, and with the other setup, the disadvantage is it looks naff. <laughs> and that's probably not a massive disadvantage, but I hate it. Uh, it needs to look smart. Um, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Comment in the comment section below. What I'm going to do is get some side profile shots as well. I could get them on the turbo, but it's just not a realistic position. Anyone can force themselves into a good position on the turbo. And unfortunately, at these brick sessions that I do at Castle Coombe, normally Brett Halliwell comes with me. So it's really nice for him to get side profile shots. Unfortunately, he is struggling with a bit of an injury. So he's got a physio appointment tonight. That's why he wasn't there. But what I might do is for the next one, get some side profile shots, see what it actually looks like. If it looks quick, for the most part, it generally is quick. So if it looks good from the side and if my head is actually quite nice and tucked in, because I don't know what it looks like. I feel like my face is there. So, so I can see if my nose is there. My eyes are probably like there. So that looks, I, I don't know. I don't know, but we'll keep playing around with it. We got a little bit of time until Swansea. I want this to work because it kind of looks, it looks all right. And it was rather expensive. <laughs> That's another reason. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of that setup in the comment section below. If you have any other ideas about what I can do with hydration, comment in the comment section below. But I think for now, this is the most convenient option. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that video and I will see you in the next one.